Welcome to Quist Plays Quasimorph. We're uh, we're back at it. We played Quasimorph before when the game initially came out. We played like quite a lot, like a uh, one or two hundred hours. Um, not not I didn't become like an expert. I didn't do everything there was to do. You know, I, I well we kind of did everything there was to do, but whatever. Moving on from that, um, there's been a, a pretty major change. There's been smaller patches, but a very major patch happened um, pretty recently, uh, a couple days ago, maybe yesterday. But I'm very excited to check it out. I've only done a little bit of playtime on the new patch. I just want to make sure the game was like fine, like ran and stuff. Um, and it does, so. We're going to hop into a fresh game. This was the, the save that I made recently. Um, just to make sure the tutorial worked. But we'll the hop in and play. The humanity is written in tears and blood. Liars. Tyrants. Idealists. They all tried to bring happiness on the edge of a sword. We waited for liberation from the shackles of fate, and were ready to go through the last judgment for it. Not for the glorious death for the eternal kingdom, love, or the Lord, but for a way to step off the path of suffering. But when the apocalypse came, we shrugged our shoulders and started profiting from it as usual. The creatures lurking in the depths of space didn't seem scarier than our own world. Armed with the hope that the darkest hour comes before dawn, we try to survive until the first rays of the sun. Okay, that's the little intro. So, um, what what the, what the guy was talking about there is um the 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 the, the plot. The, the location, whatever, the, the time at which the story takes place is um, we're way in the future and there was an anarchist revolution. So there's there's like anarchy rules, the corporations do whatever they want and they're, they're who we work for. We work for different corporations. So it's not like good guys versus bad guys. It's just one corporation versus another corporation, except for the aliens. The aliens are the bad guys. We'll talk about them later, though. Um. Good morning, boss. Let's first restore memory after the diapause. During during the Ancom mission on Venus, we awakened a Quasimorph named Texclon. Now, as Quasimorphs are still in our world, which is weird, uh, there's no information in the news that we're involved. Meanwhile, corporates insist that Quasimorphosis is a fabrication and claim that Texclon is provocation by the civil resistance. So Texclon are the aliens, or at least some of the aliens. There's more than one type. The civil resistance are the folks that want to go back to um, the old ways, um, which are democracy or i don't know like tyranny who knows whatever um but they're 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 people that are fighting against all the corporations we're now orbiting phobos and have time to recover and figure out what to do next the supplies on the ship are running low so we need to find ourselves some new profitable dot 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 i'm gonna continue training yes i want to do the tutorial attention vector four sector si vector four sector six northern hemisphere five launches detected rocket engines approaching rapidly activating countermeasures magnum grab onto some or countermeasures Magnum? Grab onto something? Oh, I think we're Magnum. It's going to be loud. So yeah, we're, we're the Magnum. It's the name of the ship here. Not too loud. I was like, ah, is it going to actually be really loud? Wasn't too bad. <laughs> Seems to be the Silver Resistance. We need to clear them out for a Magnum. Um, our future depends on it. Okay, okay. So they, they boarded our ship. We got to fend them off. Let's remember how to move. To navigate, use left mouse button. Um, left mouse button, or on the required square, or WSD on the keyboard. Okay, so yeah, continue. So I'm I'm a bit of a WASD mover. I don't I don't do the click moves very much. I can't do the door yet. Or do I, does it want me to click? Oh, I need to pick up this stuff probably. Um, so this is the uh, this is my inventory. And this is just a storage. This is just the box that we open. Normally boxes won't have this much stuff, but you have two weapon slots. You have the backpack, um, like your 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 actual inventory or whatever right here. A tack rig, and this allows you to um, use things quickly. So if I put, for instance, this antibiotic down here, I could use this uh, very quickly in combat without having to open my inventory, which takes like an extra turn. Um, it is a turn-based game. And let me see, what is this? You don't provide clothes? Okay, okay, so the, these, 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 or you don't provide stats, sorry, these are clothes. They don't provide any uh, resistance to anything. So I'll wear these, because they provide a little resistance. Like, they provide some cold res, so that's something. Something's providing poison res? I guess the boots? Okay, so we have a little bit better stats because of this. What game is this? When I left uh, when I left the laundry room, we were playing Star Sector. Oh, this is how you do in Trailin, by the way. This is Quasimorph. Um, am I still in the Star Sector category? I shouldn't be, but it looks like I am. Oh, I am. I meant to change that. 
Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I thought I changed that. Uh, but this is Quasimorph. Uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a turn-based uh, roguelite isometric shooter. It's really cool. It's very fun. Leave the cabin and head to the elevator. It's uh, across the room. Uh, we need to eliminate all these folks. All right, so we'll go kill them. So now I can open the door. Um, so what I was talking about earlier, how it takes like a turn um, to like interact with stuff. If you interact with anything from your inventory, it takes like an, a, a turn to like open it and like drop it or whatever. Um, but down here, it's quicker. You take like one turn to open the inventory, I think, and then one turn to move something. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's better if you do it down here. I'm not sure. She did not say, folks, I know. I know she didn't, but I did. Um, we'll do a little bit of uh, censorship on, on the on the, the lore here. They swear a little bit, so I won't I won't read that out, of course. But I can either be on um, stealth mode, which lets me see through walls and consumes less calories, uh, but then I only get one movement per turn. I can go on normal mode, which does not let me see through walls, gives me two movement per turn or two actions per turn, and burns a little more calories. And I'll explain calories in a moment. Uh, or I can go to sprint mode, which gives me three actions per turn, but lowers my accuracy and I can't open my inventory. So on sprint mode, I can only use stuff here and my gun that I have on. Um, but you get three actions a turn, but you, you know, you're less accurate and stuff. And calories, I was talking about those earlier. That is the action cost 10k cal on sprint, and then here it's 2k cals and 1k cal here. So each character, there's multiple characters, um, but each character has a limit to the amount of um, hunger or satiety they can have. And when you're full, you heal. Uh, like when you're when you're nearly full, like when this bar is nearly full and your your character is considered full, you know, like hungry or full, um, you heal a little bit turn over turn. So you want to stay full. But more importantly, when you go empty, when you start starving, you lose health turn over turn. So that's really bad. So you need to eat food while you're in your missions. And um, we don't have any food right now, so we'll hopefully find some throughout the mission. Let me sip some tea here. Um, I can switch between uh, single single fire and burst mode here. Um, generally speaking, burst is probably better, but it depends on the situation. There's a lot of different guns as well. The gun we have right now is not particularly good. It's a, it's a little pistol. It's okay. It's not bad. If you press the T key, you can get information about the mission status or request evac. Evac is done via elevator or shuttle, but right now we have nowhere to retreat. So evac we'll worry about later. That's that's That'll be explained in another uh, like a further mission. So I hit T just now to pull this up, clear all floors of the Magnum of Invaders, uh, the med block, the armory, and the engine room. So we just got to kill everyone. That That's the goal. So this is an elevator. This is how, oh, move between station levels. I didn't know it was going to tell me. Um, use elevators or stairs in the elevator control window. All floors are connected by the elevator shaft or displayed. Um, all floors connected by the elevator shaft or displayed. Press the floor you need. I strongly recommend starting with the med bay. If we lose the bio printer, there will be serious difficulties in cloning you or other fighters. So this is um, how you travel down. The missions that you go on, this is like a mission, um, will we'll, uh, always have multiple floors, and you go down via elevators. So here we go. So it says uh, to go to the med bay. Oh, I didn't know who would actually do it when I clicked. I thought I would have to confirm. Um, but what I was going to say is I could maybe just go to the fourth floor to like skip the rest of the tutorial. But we'll go through it proper, of course. And when I last played, this was not the tutorial. They've done, this is a new tutorial, so they've, they've redone the tutorial. Maybe it's a little more, um, like, like a little more comprehensive. Maybe it tells you more stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just for lore. Not sure. This is the med bay, where the bioprinter is located. A perfect place to remind you about your health. If your health reaches zero, you will die. If your pain threshold reaches its limit, you will skip a turn. Damage you uh, receive can lead to injuries or limb loss. Keep an eye on that. Take a close look at the health interface by pressing the H key. So... Um, we'll press that in a moment, but I do want to show off pain as well. So I'm in no pain right now, so everything's fine. But if I end up in a lot of pain from, say, being stabbed a lot, I will I will start missing turns. Like, I'll just entirely miss my turn, and you'll die. So pain shock is when you start missing turns. It's really bad. And then this is the health monitor. Send a signal to your computer about a new wound. You need to fix it. To do this, press left mouse button on the medical kit on your right, then select the injured body part. Um, so uh, she hurt me so that we could test how to fix pain. But I want to explain the screen a little bit. Um, it's mostly intel we already know about. This is our health bar. This is the pain threshold. My fullness. It's showing me whether or not I'm regening. Um, poisoning and infections can happen. Um, like poisoning is just like that. You get poisoned. And infections are what I have right here. This is from like sometimes you'll get infected from a wound. And the air was not on the plate like on the screen before. Previously, air was not an issue you had to worry about. So I don't know what this is. Um, I mean, I know what oxygen is. But I don't know if we're going to like die from lack of oxygen. 
Um, but this is nothing special. And these are your different limbs. You you take damage on individual limbs. So um, I can't run because my knee is broken. I dodge less and I take damage each turn. So different limbs have different um, problems from being damaged and you can be damaged in different ways. So you could have like a, you know, your arm could be bleeding or it could be broken, things like that. So we'll just right click the bandage and left click right here and it fixes it. Hey, Dream Wretch, how are you doing? Quasi-morph indeed. New playthrough? Yes, brand new playthrough. Hope you're doing well, Quist. I hope you're doing well, Dream. I'm doing very well. Thank you for, for uh, you know, the well wishes. But I am doing quite well indeed. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing the new, the new update. Um, there's been quite a big update to Quasi-morph. I don't know if you were you were keeping up, but there's a, a big update. I think it's called Dragon? Dragon? Like Dragon's Fire? Dragon's Breath? Dragon's Maw? Something like that? But I'm really excited to check it out. Um, but I have an infection. Open your inventory, use a sorbent or an antibiotic. If the wound is not fixed, the infection develops faster. So um, because I fixed the wound, I can use my antibiotics um, to fix the infection. Uh, that probably would have worked out either way. Like using the antibiotics to fix that would have worked even if I hadn't fixed the wound, but whatever. And then here on the table, I could pick up some poppy straws. These don't do anything for me right now, but I could do something with them in the future. So we'll worry about that later. In extreme cases, you can perform an amp amputation. To do this, select Amputate in the context menu of a sharp object and choose the body part. Note that you can't bandage yourself while in sprint mode. Um, so if, if, if I had a, a sharp object, like a, a glass shank or um, a better you know melee weapon of some kind, I could chop off my arm. If, if my arm was infected and I had no way of stopping the infection um, from, from spreading and killing me, I could just chop the arm off. But you don't want to do that. Um, as a side note, though, every time you complete a mission, it, you come back fully, fully re-standard. Like, you come back, you know, with with your stats as they are now or whatever, like, at the beginning. So I could chop off both my legs and crawl out or whatever. I don't know if you can actually chop off both your legs. But I could I could lose an arm and have my stomach, like, damaged. And if I complete the mission, next time I start a mission, I'm completely refreshed. So neither buff nor debuff gets carried mission to mission. Okay. And these are the cloning bays. I'm a clone. I'm not a real dude or whatever. Uh, I'm cloned to to go in and work for this uh, private military company, um, the Magnum. The ship is called the Magnum. The company might also be called Magnum, but either way. Uh, moral of the story is, I don't know why I'm blinking. That, that blinking there. Maybe that's letting me know I'm taking damage? I don't know. But I don't have any more meds for this, so it just is what it is. Um, but I'm, a, I'm just one of these clones, so we're not very valuable. The company doesn't love us much. Autodoc allows you to treat wounds or infections if it has charges. You can recharge it with standard batteries. Hurry, I've spotted an enemy in the room below you. Deal with him. Okay, so we need to uh, we need to heal ourselves with the autodoc. So we'll either heal wound or use autodoc. I don't really know what the difference is. I'm assuming either one works just fine. Yeah, I don't know. I used it, but we didn't heal. I guess use autodoc maybe heals our health and heal wound heals the wounds themselves. And this is a uh, a fighter. This is my first proper enemy here. Inner, inner me, first proper enemy to fight here. This is an update, but I haven't checked it. I already see new animations and stuff. I'll watch and find out. Yeah. And something that I saw when I when I played just a touch off off stream to make sure the game worked. Look at all the the stats. Um, they it seems they've pretty heavily buffed defense. Um, and I think the weapons also got damage buffs like across the board. I think uh, they've moved away from one shots. Um, like there's a lot less one shots in the game. I think from 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 what it seems. Um, and they were, they mentioned that was a goal of the changes. They wanted the game to become more difficult, like moment to moment and less like, oh, there's a big guy. He one shot me. And then everything else is completely steamrolled. Um, so I'm thinking with like the extra defensive stats and the, you know, slightly higher weapon damage, you know, we, we should be suffering like slowly instead of just all at once dying. Um, but this is my enemy. I can see his stats, what he's wearing and what gun he has. And, um, like if he's broken or anything, he's just a fighter, nothing special about him, but I'm gonna try to kill him. I'm gonna step here, because uh, if you saw before, I'll step back and waste a turn. Um, when, when this wall right here, this one where my mouse is right now, it turns red if I wanna shoot him. That means the wall's probably gonna get in the way. Not certainly, but probably. So I don't wanna let that happen, so I'm gonna move over here. And now my, my little crosshair, my, or the dots or whatever, like the, the aim dots, they're, they're lined up on him and there's no, no red from the walls. So we can shoot him and he'll take some damage. He didn't die, because his armor. Um, not only did he not die, he didn't even take that much damage. So I've shot him in the stomach. It's a minor wound, a contusion, so it's going to heal itself. Don't need to worry about that. Um, I received a, a, a bonus or a, a perk triggered because I, I dodged a shot, and now I have more dodge chance. That's related to my, my class. We'll talk about classes later. That's cool. I died a, a lot of one-shots. Yeah, the game had a lot of one-shots before, so. 
I think they've moved away from that, and it, it, by design. I don't think they wanted everything to be all one shot, you know, oriented. So he's taken more damage, and he's very broken. I broke his shoulder, so he's less accurate. He's losing health turn over turn. He can't run, and he's losing even more health there. And he's uh, he can't eat. He's gonna maybe get sick, and he, he takes damage each time he uses an action point. So I don't necessarily need to kill this guy. He's got seven HP, but if I wanted to, which we will do, I'll show it off or whatever. I can just run away. He will bleed to death. Um, and this is an important strategy, is letting the, the enemies die um, without shooting them, like shooting them just enough and running. Sometimes that's really important, especially for really tough enemies. Um, just letting them bleed out is, is valuable. Great job. Pay attention to the body. Click on it to loot. If you want to stand on the corpse without inspecting it, uh, control plus left mouse button for movement when you're done here, or for movement. When you're done here, return to the elevator and descend to the next level. In the right corner, there's a mini map and the current mission status. Use these buttons if you forgot what's happening. Okay, so if you, if you want to look at the map, you can look around, see see where you've explored. This It's showing me there's like a room in here, kind of, but I haven't looked in there, so I don't really know what's up with it. And I can, of course, just hit T if I need to know what's going on. But we're good. We don't need to know what's going on. This uh, this has water in it. Water heals you a little bit. I hit my mic there, sorry. More importantly than healing you, though, it provides... Um, it can extinguish fire, which is... I never really struggled with fire personally on the previous patches, but apparently it was something a lot of people struggled with. Um, first aid kit is great. It's going to go right down here. It heals me. Um, it's, it's it's very good. Um, it, you know, heals infection, poisoning, fixes all wounds, and gives you regen. Uh, it lowers your pain. Everything about this is pog. And an anti-Raiden. This heals ARS? I don't know what ARS is. That wasn't in the game before, so that's something I don't know what it does. And here we have medical glue. This is also just a good medicine. It, it you know, heals stuff, helps with, like, everything. It's generically good for, like, everything. Gives you a little regen. I'll put it down there. And this is a splint. It'll it'll fix a broken leg or something. It's it's a little more um, niche, but still very useful. It's not that niche. Just slightly more niche than um, either of these. These are these are very broad use. Um, the, these medicines are a little more niche. And this is again the splint. This is an antibiotic to stop infection. And this is a um, a pain stopper. Also, apparently you can be addicted to cigarettes now. Um, you can smoke cigarettes to stop an effect called quasimorphosis from happening. Um, and previously there was no downside. Now apparently there is a uh, possible addiction chance. So we'll talk about what quasimorphosis is in the future as well. I don't want to overload you. So we'll talk about that when it shows up. So I'm going to steal all of his armor. My armor sucks, right? I'm just wearing clothing. He has proper armor on. Gorilla armor for like, you know, gorilla warfare. So that's better. So I'll take that. And his gun. Um, it's lower damage than my gun. You can tell because the numbers are, you know, arrow pointing down in red. Um, lower damage, lower critical damage. The uh, ammo per, sh per shot is like lower. So there's a lot of downsides. But the upside is that it's another gun. And he has ammo. You need different ammos for different guns. Like this uses 9 mil. This uses um, the .42. Um, so I need to get rid of something. And this stuff doesn't seem to be that valuable. It's not providing me any stats whatsoever. So I'm going to disassemble it. What do we get? Some rubber and a thread. That stuff might be decent. I I'm going to take the ammo instead though. You can use this for crafting, probably, um, but I just want the ammo. So this is the, uh, like the, this is where they they breached our ship. This was their like, their 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 tiny shuttle that how they showed up from. So that's whatever. That's fine. If I'm in here, do I lose oxygen? Is this the oxygen area? No, it's still 22 percent. So it seems that's fine. All right, let's leave. Down to floor three. Um, and I, I, we could probably go straight to floor four, but we're going to go to the army. Again, we're going to do the tutorial as it wants us to. Here's our arsenal. Ammo and melee weapons have different damage types, and armor has different resistance types. Choose wisely with what and how to attack to win. Um, so I, I mostly just be blasting, but you can, you know, you can choose, like, different, you know, like, ammo types. The ammo types are what matter more than, like, weapon types. No, that's not true. G generally, I'll bring one weapon and multiple ammo types to allow for different um, damage profiles, is what I mean. Let's make sure your weapon is loaded and ready for battle. To reload, you hit R, big shocker. If the ammo is in the tactical vest slot in the middle of the screen, press the corresponding quick access slot key and reloading will take fewer turns. You have two weapon slots. You can quickly switch between them by clicking on the image or by pressing E. So um, I, can, I can switch to this thing and I can reload it oh, and I can switch back to this thing. And um, as mentioned, if I wanted to, I could put my ammo down here. And then if I just take a take a shot here, and if you shift click, you can shoot without targeting something. Because you, you normally have to target a person to shoot, but if I wanted to shoot this explosive barrel, for instance, I could just shift click and shoot it. And I do want to. Um, you don't want to be near a barrel. Uh, they explode, they catch on fire, and they'll kill you. 
So if I reload, it's going to take um, two turns, I think. Reload duration, yeah, two two action points, I should say, not two turns. So it'll take a whole turn here because I, I have two action points per turn. But if I click two or click down here instead, we reload and it only took one action point. So there you go. We, uh, we, we did it, you know, a little cheaper or a little quicker. So putting your ammo down here can be very valuable. I generally don't do that. I find medicine and grenades to be more valuable, but I don't know. Some folks really like the ammo down here. Um, I suggest hiding behind cover. Uh, not shockingly enough, or not shocking, this cover provides um, defense. Here's some more useful info. If you ever want to shoot somewhere other than the enemy, shift. Okay, that's that. Um, oh, the fuel barrel. Fire is very dangerous. Okay, the game's teaching me about the barrel that already exploded. Um, so while I'm behind this cover, I can shoot over it for free. Like, I, I won't shoot the cover ever. But if they try to shoot me, there's a fair, a fair chance it hits the cover instead of me. So um, so it's, it's, it's good to be behind cover. I don't play very well with cover. I tend to ignore it a little bit, which is bad. I should, I should you know, hide behind cover more, but I don't. To the right of the active weapon button is the select shooting mode. This, oh, I can just, I, I can, I can shoot either a single shot or two shots here. And I didn't mention this earlier, but a single shot is more accurate and has lower scatter. Um, so the, the, the shots both have accuracy and scatter. So there's a chance my shot just misses based on accuracy. Like it just doesn't go where I want it to go. Um, but then also within the, the cone of, of like, you know, the de three, four degree of, of, of co like a, a four degree wide cone, um, the shots just land somewhere in there. Um, I think if you like fail accuracy, like a shot that's like inaccurate goes outside the cone. I'm not sure. But what this means is that if you have like a really wide cone, you'll hit like, you know, a large area. And if you have a very small cone, you'll hit a smaller area. So generally speaking, a lower scatter, a lower degree of scatter is better. But, you know, sometimes on like a big machine gun, you don't mind having a lot of scatter because you can, you know, plow through a lot of enemies with it. Um, and this is a big gun, like it's it's a big pistol. It uses like larger uh, rounds and stuff. It does a little more damage, um, not that much more damage. I would I would be inclined to take this if I had ammo for it. We don't have ammo for it right now, so I can't really use it. So I'm just gonna leave it behind. Open this room. Check what's in here. Ooh, a laser rifle. Okay. Um, laser weapons or any weapons that are like high tech like this use batteries or other ammo types, but batteries. Um, and they're generally really strong. Um, they can catch enemies on fire. Uh, you know, they're, they're great weapons, but it's tough to get batteries. At least early game it is. Late, late, and I don't know on the new patch. Again, I don't know the actual, like, you know, how tough any of this is going to be to get now. But generally, these are, like, later game weapons. So I'm probably just going to leave this one behind again because I, I won't be able to get batteries or anything for it for a while. What I could do, because I'm not going to take it, I could just disassemble it. And we got some stuff I've never seen. A lens, a microchip, and then batteries. So the batteries are just the ammo fixes energy weapons okay so there's weapon parts that you used to use to fix all weapons it seems now you need a microchip to fix energy weapons and there's probably still weapon parts for the the lower tier weapons um and let me go down here and break this pistol down i can maybe show off the weapon part stuff disassemble i oh, always got ammo okay so no weapon part there but um you, the yellow bar here under this machine gun and under this and under my armor as well is its durability as you go through a mission, like if you if you get shot in the face, your your helmet takes durability. If you get shot in the boots or in the legs, your boots you take durability damage. If they go to zero, they stop functioning. At at, at one, they're perfectly functioning though. Um, like like as long as it's not broken, it provides all the stats. But once it breaks, it does nothing. Um, if your backpack breaks, stuff falls out of it. If your tack rig vake, uh, breaks, stuff falls out of it. So these are really important to keep fixed. And if your weapon breaks, you can't use it. So throughout a mission, you'll you'll need to pick up other people's weapons. Um, ooh, an assault rifle, 16 to 32 damage, not bad. What ammo does it use? It uses this this ammo. Okay, yeah, this heavier stuff. So I'll go ahead and take this and I'll load that back up. Oh, I can't do that. My bad. Thought I could just click the ammo in. So I'll take this instead of this, um, and I'll actually put these in here. And I'll disassemble them. Actually, I can use this these rags to fix my stuff. Uh, repair like the boot. Oh no. Okay, I repaired this. It didn't need to be repaired, but I repaired it. When you repair, it does get a little bit of the red bar right there. Um, that lowers the maximum durability. Just for the rest of the mission you're on, but it does lower it. So you can't repair uh, items infinitely. Um, you know, over the course of a mission, they become, like, worse and worse. So you do need to repair them, um, you know, kind of sparingly. You don't want to waste repairs like I did there. So I had to reload the ammo so I could pick up even more ammo. And then this was good ammo for the, the this gun right here, but I'm going to leave it behind because I don't have room. I want to take this stuff. I guess I could get rid of these pants. I don't think they matter. And I could disassemble this. Maybe we'll get... Because I can't really take it in my inventory. 
Maybe we can get some cool stuff. Yeah, armor plates. Okay. So I can repair my boots with that. No? I don't know what the boots repair with then. If they don't take an armor plate or cloth, I'm not sure what they repair with. Armor component? Okay, that. All right. These weren't in the game last I played. Fixes makeshift armor. Okay. Fixes medium armor. Okay, you also have a shirt there. That's that's very true. I don't need that shirt at all. So I'll take these. Um, so previously, there was just, just this for armor and then just weapon parts for weapons. It seems they've specified. Um, they've broken down what, what items repair what. So that's cool. Again, we'll, we'll have to become more familiar with this stuff with time. We'll re-familiarize ourselves. Um, so we're capped on ammo. Like, I can't pick this... I can't take this ammo with me because this is full and the stack size is only 40, so... This is kind of where we're stuck, but I would rather have this ammo than this ammo. Just in general, it's better, I think. This ammo didn't exist when I played before, but I think this is lower tier ammo. Um, so in general, this is probably better, but I'm also using this ammo right now. So even if it wasn't better, I need it for this fight. So we'll do that. And I'll disassemble this stuff. And if we get anything that I have stacks of, it goes in the inventory. And stuff that I don't have stacks of goes over here. Okay, I was hoping for a weapon part to show it off, but yeah, it's not there. Looks like this was another another shuttle that they breached us with. That's fine. And we got a skill leveled up. There are skills. Again, when we when we uh, are finished with this mission, I will show off the class stuff. We'll talk about that, you know, when, when it comes. All right, so we, we, we fought these dudes. We got a good weapon for it. I'm happy with that. And we're, we took a little damage, and we're kind of hungry. We don't have any food, though. Yeah, so hopefully we don't starve before the mission's over. There's just no food available to us. All right, so let's see. Someone threw grenades in the machine into the machine room again. I'll deal with them later. Grenades are used for the utility slots, and that's these two things. Activate activate grenades with the correct key or pressing left mouse button. Once you're done here, head to the cubocentric engine on the left. Okay. So uh, grenades are pog. I'll go ahead and oh, we do have a little. It's not food, but it's something. It'll give us a little bit of health back. Um, so grenades are great. I'll swap it instead of the ammo. Um, and you can stack, I believe, three. Yeah, three. Three is the stack size. So three grenades there. Um, they're very useful. This is a machine gun turret. I'll throw this down so I can pick this up. Um, this is very, very powerful. The these are one use. Like when I put this down, it's it it uses it, it fires until it breaks or whatever. Um, and then it's it's I never get it back. So they're very powerful, but they're tough to get a hold of, and they're you know they're they're one and done. So call nodes have barricaded themselves in the upper component. Call nodes are the um. The members of the civil resistance they're called call notes at least the, the 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 proper like higher tier ones like the elite ones get ready for a serious battle use cover and don't play the hero we have several stationary turrets and mines they are used in the same way from opening the inventory with right mouse button opening the context menu and you select use the turret mine in this case will be installed in the cell next to you in the direction you are facing prepare for defensive or prepare for prepare for defense sorry we have little time just in case the key for skipping a turn is space it might be useful if you need to wait a few turns so yeah if you're if you're just chilling you can just hit space um, so I assume they're gonna come through like up here. I don't. I don't know. Oh okay, yeah, here's mines over here. So the game is telling me to pick these up, or it mentioned to me that I could pick these up. Do they stack? Okay, they do stack. And then we have ammo in here, but I have I have plenty of ammo. I guess I could take some of this nine mil. Yeah, stack up to a full stack there. Um, and then I want to put some some like defensive stuff down. So I'll put a mine down here. And when I last played, mines weren't part of the game. So I've, I I, think I played a little bit after they came in, but it was a small update that added the mines. Oh, jeez, it scared the life out of me. They blew through, they blew through the wall. It scared me so much, dude. I actually, like, jumped. Oh, I just wasn't, I wasn't prepared. Destroy them before they blow up the cubocentric engine. Use everything I've already told you. The goal is to protect the magnum. All right, so I guess I have to keep this thing alive. So we have our mines placed down. I'm going to put the turret down here. Um... And the turrets, they can kill you. Like, if they if they shoot... Like, if I was in front of this turret and it shot, it has a fair chance of just shooting me. So I don't want to stand in front of it. So I'm going to stand behind this cover next to it. And it shouldn't turn around and shoot back at me because there's no enemies back here. There should be no reason it wants to face back here. So we should be safe. And the accuracy is 90, scatters 4. Accuracy is 85 on rapid fire mode? What is that? Rapid fire burst? Oh, ammo, oh it's either... It's machine gun. It's either, it's either fully auto or burst. Um, this is the, the lower ammo per shot. I was like, why is this less, less uh, accurate? So I'll fire four shots per shot, or four shots per click. So there we go. That one went down really easily. That guy also died. And there's more coming. So I'm, sp I'm hitting space to skip my turn. Or whatever. Um, that is that is what they were talking about earlier. Because I don't want to move out of my position here. So if I couldn't shoot them, there is no need for me to, to walk around. I can just hit space, and it'll, it'll skip over one action. 
And I shot the wall enough that it exploded there. Like, the wall died because I shot it. I should die. Oh, I shot my turret on accident. That happens. Just in the same way the turret can shoot you, you can shoot it. So I reloaded my gun. It's still reloading. Just walk back and forth. It's just like hitting the space bar or whatever. All right. Well done, Frank. My name's Frank. Okay. All invaders eliminated. And Magnum is no longer under threat. See you with the bridge. Over and out. All right. Let's go. We did it. So that's the tutorial. It's over. Magnum has sustained minor damage. Basically, it won't affect the functionality of the equipment and crew, so we can go where we want and do what we want. The system is open to us. Let's go. Um, so this is the stuff I have on my person. This is the stuff in my like inventory, my my cargo. Um, so this is like what I, I'm bringing out a raid. Um, so what I can do is just drop all the stuff off that I don't think we'll need, like this ammo and this gun. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the uh, the pistol again, so we don't need that stuff. These these armor parts, you know, I don't need those. Some meds is fine. This poppy straw doesn't do anything. We need to um, we need to uh, refine it before it does anything. So it's that's fine how it is. We might need more ammo than one stack. I can reload the gun. There you go. That's that's helpful. What is this? Forty two rubber. It's it's a rubber bullet. It's like non lethal or something. Damage bonus plus twenty. It's blunt damage. Crit chance. Okay, that's cool. It seems like it's very lethal. Like it's it's plenty lethal. Um, it doesn't have like a negative damage bonus, so that's fine. Um, and some weapons will have like like damage bonus. Like this has a damage bonus of a hundred, or maybe a hundred's the base the base damage bonus. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's up with that. I think that might be new as well. But they give you a fair few different weapons, some melee weapons, a turret, some some clothing and armor. Not nothing too sp special, but some basic stuff. Um, a little bit of food and meds and stuff. So I don't think we're gonna have any um, nicotine issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. The medical glue and splint we can keep. And I'll keep one of these on my person. I will split the stack. How do I split the stack? There we go. Um, and I'm doing that for the sake of in case we get an infection in there. And I'll take two stacks of these, and I'm preparing for the next raid. We're not going into a raid right now, but I'm preparing for it. Because um, we'll, we'll go in in a moment. I like to have my character, when I finish a raid, I like to set it up for the next one. Um, it's just a habit I've always had. This isn't really as much stuff as I would normally bring, but we're very early in like the game, you know? Like I, I don't know how much stuff we need, so... New patch, and I haven't played in a while. It's it's like the first mission, so this probably isn't enough stuff, but we'll send it. This is fine. If it's not enough, we can you know we can we can you know make it work later. Maybe I'll take one of these. I'll take an extra med kit. That that that'll help. That's something. And this is Francis. We can certainly do as Jane said. Contracts are waiting. But as the saying goes, honor is lost. Everything is lost. Honor is preserved. Everything is preserved. We were able to track down the extract location of the shuttle launches. It's Rogue City. Most likely, Civil Resistance has set up a training center and a transshipment point there. Before we start chasing money, I suggest uh, to stick a red-hot poker in the in the reds. Um, not going to finish that. Um, so they, he wants me to go here. He wants me to do the uh, the, the first quest is Taste of Revenge. So we'll do this. Um, and this is the stock exchange. I don't know what this is. The, these screens weren't here before. It was just this when I last I last I played. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Combat AR? What? It's like a robot? Recreational AR? Jesus. Okay. Um, I, just, I, I wasn't looking at what I was hovering. Um, industrial AR? Okay, so I guess you can get robots. That's cool. Um, I don't really know what's up with this. We'll figure this out as, as we go. There's a lot of stuff here, too. Oh, is this every item in the game? Does it show, like, everything? Maybe it's showing it's, like, worth? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, so I'm just going to scroll back to the top. So this is the, uh, the, um, what is it called? The stock exchange. This, what this shows is how, how powerful each, um, faction is and how much they like you. So currently they like me plus 20, which is like neutral. Um, that's like, you know, near zero. And they, they have like these items for trade. So if I go to trade with them, this is what I can get in return. Um, this is an item chip. If you do, if you get one of these, it unlocks a, an item, a random one, depending on what's on the chip. Um, this backpack, different guns, ammo, and the, and the colonies or the factions, excuse me, the different companies, they will gain and lose strength depending on your, your actions and the missions. And also their own actions. Like each mission that you can take, if you don't choose to take it, it happens still. Like it still finishes and maybe they win or lose or whatever. Um, and the more missions like a, a, a faction, you know, wins, the more powerful they are. They can take stations from other people. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about stations here. So that's that. These are the different factions. These are the different things they have on offer. Um, so the stations are... Can I go to system map? Yeah, so there's all these different planets. The ones in red don't exist yet, but the ones uh, these do exist. So we can go to these different places here, um, all these different spots to head to. 
Um, and each each area has like a bunch of stations. And each station is controlled by a faction. So this is owned by French. This is owned by Ancom. This is owned by Grasshopper. And let's say uh, Ancom had a quest or a mission to, to conquer this place. If it was successful, then they would own it and they would get more power. And Grasshopper would lose it and they would get less power. Um, and if you help someone, they may, they like you more. So the more someone likes you, the better stuff they'll give you. And the more powerful they are, the more stuff they have. So um, it's kind of, you know, un it's kind of basic or whatever. Uh, and you just travel around to different places and do the different missions. And there is a, a time, like time is passing. Time matters. As the game progresses, I can go to 100 speed here. As the game progresses, the enemies become more powerful because, like, you know, they're they're just unlocking new tech and stuff like that, like unlocking new items from, from their power, like this stuff. Um... Because they do research every week as well. Yeah, tech per week. So as you become more powerful, you get more tech. So they're getting like no tech per week. They kind of hate me. This is the Civil Resistance. Of course, they hate me. Um, but as they get more tech, they unlock more stuff. So if I just sat here for the next like 100 days or something, the enemies would be like really powerful by the time I started doing anything. So time matters. And time also matters for this. The capacity of our mothership spacecraft allows us to produce items directly on board. To produce most simple items, we only need a licensed ship. Uh... Here, there are examples in history of how one corporation tried to reduce additional fees for each introduced or each item each item produced, but as a result of the Six Day War, the corporation went bankrupt, bankrupt, and all others refused such monetization. This is a a, a knock at a uh, was it Unity? I can't remember who, but it was a, a company recently that tried to charge per download of the game. Like it, it was it was like they were going to charge game devs each time the game like got downloaded or whatever. Uh, and it was a big scandal. Uh, right when this game came out, that was happening. So this is just kind of a, a knock at them. But either way, oh, put the gun down. Didn't mean to pick that up. But we can produce stuff. Um, the item chips I was talking about earlier, when you find an item chip, it allows you to produce it here. So currently, we can only produce very basic things, like this sorbent. It's some medicine. I'll make some sorbent. It doesn't take anything. Normally, stuff requires uh, like a, a, a base item. Sorbent seems not to, so that's cool. Um, and I picked up these poppy straws earlier so I could get morphine. Um, it has addiction, which is sad. You know, you don't want to be addicted to it. That'll make your character worse. But it heals all wounds and gets rid of pain. So morphine has a use. Um, and you can make, like, lots of different stuff. We can't really make anything right now because we don't have anything. Like, we don't have items to make into other items. But we'll make these. And these take time. So it takes 20 hours. So if I if I waited time, these, you know, if I went to, like, you know, this and waited a while, the uh, these would be done. So there are 17 hours. That was three hours right there. So that's most of what's out here. Uh, that was weird. The game, like, lagged out. So let's do this mission. Let's pop in. I'm glad that your honor is not an empty word. Or I'm glad that honor is not an empty word to you, boss. Just in case, I'll remind you about the standard mission preparation interface. On the screen, you choose who the operative. Uh, you choose the operative who will go into the mission. The chip with combat skills will be integrated into their freshly printed clone, and the equipment that we will issue to the fighter for the mission. So I get to choose who I play as. This is the bio printer screen. You can choose the fighter. Um, each fighter has their own talent. Uh, they have all been through a lot during their years in every corner of the solar system, so whatever. So each fighter, they have different stats, um, each mercenary here. So Francis, this is who I was playing before, I think, um, or I'm pretty sure, uh, has 135 health. They have a, a base accuracy of 60 and a base dodge chance of 6. And then, uh, they have a, a maximum calorie count of 2,000. Um, and then their special ability, the final stat is their special trait. They have better weapon durability. So Francis has 120% bonus weapon durability. So their weapons last longer. They don't need to repair as much. They're able to fire them more before they break. Um, it's a it's a solid trait. It's okay. Francis, or excuse me, Victoria, on the other hand, has less health by a lot. 135 for Francis, only 100 for, for Victoria. But she has um, better dodge chance, better base accuracy, a lower calorie limit, so she has to eat food more frequently. Um, but her bonus, her bonus ability is weapon range plus two. So she's a bit like a sniper. She can shoot really far away. Um, so in theory, the, the less health shouldn't matter that much because she can just shoot you from so far away. Percy, uh, is the tank. He gets, um, 150 health, um, you know, decent stats or whatever. Accuracy 55 is kind of bad, but 10 dodge, really high, uh, ca calorie count 2,400. So he, he caps out really high. And then his bonus ability or his special talent is plus 10 all res all resistances, um, so anytime you take damage, if it's, you know, let's say it's cut damage or blunt damage or fire damage, um, the damage gets checked versus your resistance and it reduces it by the amount of your resistance. So if it's 10 damage and you have five resistance, you only take five damage. If it's 10 damage and you have 10 or more resistance, you take none. Um, so resistant resistance is very important. Let me sip some tea here. I'm struggling to get the words out. But as a result of this resistance is quite powerful. Um, and then Isabella here ignores infections. 
Um, she has other stats or whatever, like her stats are there, but ignoring infections is very important for Isabella. It allows her to be a melee character because one of the classes wants you to eat raw meat, like human meat. Um, you do, there is cannibalism in this game. Um, and eating human meat gets you very sick, but she won't get sick. So she's allowed to like eat the meat and get the advantage out of that. And it's a melee class that gets a bonus out of that. So she's a good melee character. I'm going to play as Percy. Um, I've always found Percy to be the strongest because of his ability to, um, to, uh, because of his, his latent passive or whatever, the bonus, um, the bonus resistances. So I'm going to take all this stuff off, all this stuff that we had on this character. I'm going to take it off. And put it in my storage here. Uh, okay, there we go. And uh, there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on Percy instead because I don't want to play as Francis. I want to play as Percy. So earlier we uh, we put all that stuff on him. Didn't need to do that. That was my bad. This is class selection screen. In addition to their own experience, each fighter will gain a, a benefit from gaining a specific skill sets uh, based on the class. Whatever blah. This is the class. So I'll explain the classes. We only have two right now. There's more than two. We just only have two to start with. Same for the mercenaries. There's more than those four. There's like twelve or something. There might even be more now, but there was like 12 back in the day. So of the two classes we have right now, oh, and the top trait is your personal trait. So this is Percy's trait. This isn't related to the class, so it's here as well. But of the two classes we have, this is the shooter class, and this is the melee class. Um, they get melee accuracy. They have melee damage, but this only triggers when you eat raw human meat. So this is what I was talking about earlier with Victoria being able to not get infected. Um, she can eat human meat constantly and not get infected, so she gets a big bonus to melee damage. Uh, they have a just generic all damage buff, a very big all damage buff. But to trigger it, you have to kill an enemy in melee. Um, so it's you know, it's you know, if you kill someone in melee, you can switch to a gun and do bonus damage. But in general, it's you know, melee oriented. And then when you get a, when you get blood, when you get bled, excuse me, you start regening. So it, it makes you a little bit harder to bleed out. Um, like bleeds aren't quite as powerful against you because of that. And then you can sprint better. Sprint affects accuracy negative twenty percent. So if we, if you remember back to when I was talking about the different movement modes, um, when you're on like movement mode three, where you can take three turns or whatever, or three actions per turn, you're less accurate. This lowers that debuff by 20%. Not a flat 20%, but 20% of the debuff is removed. So if the debuff is bringing you down by 20%, um, or let's say the debuff is bringing you down by 50%, because I don't use the same number, 20% of that is 10 um, so it removes 10% of the accuracy loss, not not a flat 20. When I first saw this, I thought it was just flat. I was like, wow, that's busted, but it's not. So um, eventually you can level all these skills up. And when you level uh, this up, you can, you know, sprint around and you're not, you know, less accurate at all. And the final skill is um, dodge chance. You just dodge more. The, when you're playing this class, you just dodge more. It's great. Um, and the skills level up. Each skill levels up based on its own, um, like, experience, like, trigger. So melee hits level this up. Dodges level this up getting bled levels this up so um they generally level up related to the action that the skill helps with um and in scouts of hades you you're less likely to be wounded which is great you do more damage and this only triggers if someone has attacked you so it's you know it's it's good to have but it only works if you've been shot or stabbed recently so it's like yeah um you get just extra health um and you know that's really good extra health goes really hard so it's a small bit of extra health but it's extra health and then you have dodge chance, but again, this only happens if you get attacked. You don't have to hit, you don't have to be hit, you just have to be attacked. So the first shot against you is more and more likely to hit you than the next shots, because you'll have this big bonus to dodge chance. Um, and then CQB special, or CQC special, excuse me. Um, pistols, shotguns, or SMGs have better scatter. It doesn't say that it's only for pistols, shotguns, or SMGs. Um, it says that that's you when shooting those, you get EXP from them. But it says it's just less scatter, but it only applies to pistol, shotguns, and SMGs. Or at least it used to only apply to those. So it doesn't say that, but it, it's specifically for those weapons. And then we get accuracy, generic accuracy. Um, so the class is pretty solid. It's overall, it's a pretty decent class. You have dodge chance, you have bonus damage, you're, you have more accuracy and less scatter. So, you, you know, your, your, your shots, when they land, they land like right on target. It's really good. And then, you know, I'm um, a little, just a little bit of defense, a little offense. It's a good class. It's my second favorite class. My favorite class we don't have unlocked. I'll, I'll talk about it when we get it unlocked. Take out of your equipment. We already, we already talked about this. Um, oh, and what it's telling me here is you can't evac from a mission unless the mission is completed or we find something pog. There's a few specific item types that you can, you can leave with. They're good enough items that the, that the, uh, the, the ship will take you back for finding them. But again, because you're a clone and you're not, like, respected, they don't want you back unless you've won the mission. Um, if you just go out there and, and you're going to die, they don't care. 
So you need to, you need to be able to prove your worth if you want to come back to the ship. So you do need to either complete the mission or, or get a very special item. Um, and you can't actually drop stuff here. You can if you click drop, it just goes to here. So um, it's like kind of scary or whatever, but you don't actually drop it. So we're taking meds. I'll take some food. Where are those big cans? Yeah, can the, the canned food. Um, they provide more calories. So these provide 1,200 calories each. These only give like 450, so it's not that much. Um, these are a lot more calories, so I'll bring those. Um, maybe we could bring some water as well. If we get caught on fire or something, that'll put us out. And, you know, it's also, it heals us a little. So there's that. We'll take some meds. A small amount of meds. Do we have, yeah, splints. I'll take a small amount of these as well. And an antibiotic. Okay. And this is this is my loadout, and I tend to have it built like like set up like this. It's kind of weird looking, but I like my meds over here. Um, and if you note, our backpack's already like almost full. We only have room for six more items. So until you get a bigger backpack, because you can use you know you can have this full size right here. It can be doubled. Um, until you get a bigger backpack, uh, you're really gonna struggle for for looting stuff. It's it's quite a challenge to figure out what you want to look. Um, how the cargo refill? Um, like this? Yeah, are you asking how this gets like filled up or whatever? Um, only if you bring stuff to it. Only with stuff you bring out of missions. So when you start the game, you get like the stuff you see here. Like they provide you with some starter stuff. But outside of outside of the stuff you, you start with, you have to finish a mission and bring it out. Like bring stuff out with you. So everything you, 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 you know, you're going to use, you have to keep with you. Or you have to like bring bring home. Um, if you die, they give you a little, a little, like a, um, like a little basic kit though. So you can't ever have nothing. If you die, you, you, you're given like some, some pants and a shirt and a little gun and a knife. So you, it's like a scav run from Tarkov. You're always given something so that you're not, you know, completely out. But um, if you do want stuff in here, you got to take it out of a raid. So let's go into that raid and go get some stuff. If you feel ready, it's time to start the mission. Press the start mission button. Okay. Keep in mind, we're not getting paid for this. A contract would have been better idea. Silver resistance set up a field camp in Rogue City. Training complexes as well as some kind. Whatever. Um, this is just lore. Um, yeah, just lore. So, that's fine. Just lore. Let me sip some more tea here. Our scanners see several ways to solve this problem. First, there's the main elevator connecting to the cargo dock, uh, connecting the cargo dock to the control center, but the number of biosignatures at the elevator is extremely high. Obviously, obviously there is quite strong security there. Secondly, secondly, there is a bypass route through the stairs and warehouse level. I would reckon, recommend using the second option as our main plan, but if you feel confident, you can act as you as you think best. Um, so back when I played... <clears throat> dude, I, my voice is dying. Sorry about that. Back when I first played, there was... Um, you could only use the elevators. But apparently now there are like um, like other ways through the maps, possibly, like the stairs. So we'll have to see what's up with that. And this is an explosive barrel, but if I take the gas out of it, now it can't explode. So I'm not as scared of it anymore. Some rusty metal on the ground. A cooler. I'll take the bottle of water out of there. Let's see. Just some other stuff. Okay. Doesn't seem like anything too exciting is going on here. I'll take the extra ammo. That's fine. So I'm just looking. I'm looking for the elevator so I can leave. We could go. I think if I like go here, I can like drink from this. No, I just shot it. Oh, you can shoot it to make water spill. Um, and then if it was on fire, then, you know, the, if the ground was on fire, it would, you know, it would be safe. Uh, same room. Some room nearby is an elevator. Be careful. The signature is sta signatures of stationary turrets and heavily armored call nodes are clearly tracked there. Whatever kills them can kill you too. You are not special and equipment tends to run out. Um, so if I, if I go stealth mode, I can see through the walls. Yeah, so there's some people there. So it's a little spooky, but I think we can handle it. And how I'm going to handle it is I'm going to spill some fuel all the way along here. This is the fuel we picked up earlier. I'm going to spill all of it. Or a lot of it, at least. We'll spill that. And then I'll just spill the rest here. I'll spill one there, at least. Okay, so I'm going to open this door. Um, okay, so they saw me. They should chase after me, I think. That's, that's the goal. Hmm. Did they not notice me? And I'm standing in the door, so it can't shut. The doors do open and shut to, like, block vision. Hmm. Open this door. All right, whatever. I'm just going to throw a nade in there. That'll get their attention. So there is a turret down here. I kind of want to kill that turret. So I'm just going to put the nade right there. And then I'm going to run, because I don't want to get blown up by it. it. Takes a few turns to blow up, but that's the explosion. So there we go. We saw one guy there. Hopefully he, they're, they're aggroed on me now. 
I'm really, I'm trying to get them to, to come through this door. Ah, okay, okay, he's there, he's there. I didn't mean to, I, I meant to turn and face them, not turn and walk. That was my bad. Some wounds can become infected. To prevent this, use absorbent or antibiotics. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna walk through the door. Walk back once more. I'm gonna go ahead and use my heels if I can. What is this? It's a thigh wound. I don't know, thigh deep wound. I don't know what I need to put on there. If it's a, a bandage or the other thing. But there we go. Okay, there's that guy. I'm gonna shoot the barrel. So it'll explode, hurt him, and it'll catch all of this oil on fire. So they're gonna try to chase after me probably and they'll die while they're at it. That's the goal at least. And I'm gonna use this antibiotic so I don't, I don't take the infection and die or whatever. I'll reload my gun right now. So we are bleeding, but I, I, I don't know how to stop that. Okay, it went away on its own. Okay, only one guy came through. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of people in there. Only one guy went through and there's a lot of dudes here. So I'm gonna throw another nade. And the nade's distance is like guaranteed. Like, it won't hurt me. You can see the, the red area, so I am I am safe to put that nade there. And there's this guy in front of me, but I can stand, I can stand my ground. He won't, he won't, like, one-shot me or anything, so I'm going to shoot him. Um, I'm going to shoot again. Waiting for the nade to explode. It should explode soon. These guys are really tanky. Yeah, they have the people's front armor on. These are, these are the, the, the higher tier enemies. These are, like, the call nodes. Um... So this is like a little spooky, but yeah, there we go. And will he, is he burning or anything? Contusion, blast injury. Yeah, it's okay. That's not bad. He is on a fiery tile, so he might, ex he might burn there. Um, how are you doing? Okay, nothing, nothing too bad yet. I'm going to go ahead and shoot him again. <clears throat> again, sorry about the throat. I'm, my, my voice is kind of dying on me. Are you wounded? Yeah, very wounded. How are you doing? A little wounded. And this guy will probably be wounded. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to like run away from him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the fire and stuff take care of him for me. Has this wall been broken? How did he shoot me there? Oh yeah, this wall's broken down. This is no longer a wall. You can tell it doesn't have like the wires on top. So this is this is not protecting me at all. So I'm gonna hide up here. Ooh, I got I lost a turn. Yeah, I'm in pain shock. Um, I'm losing turns because I'm in too much pain. I need to heal my stuff. Um, sure. I don't I don't know what I need to do. Like I don't know which which is where. Contusion, stomach laceration. That's probably like a bandage. That seems like a bandage. And we are getting infected again. I'm gonna use my last antibiotic. And I'll go ahead and drink some. Oh, yeah, food's unavailable. I guess because of a. Uh... Ah. Um, but I guess food's unavailable because of my, my like stomach injury or something. Yeah, food unavailable. Okay. Are you almost dead? How are you doing? 13 of 80, and you are 54 of 70. Okay, that's not great. Um, I guess I'll shoot this guy. That's really tanky still. Almost any weapon needs to reload. Okay, so I have to reload. Not a great time to reload. Probably should have, like, reloaded before. The game did say not to go this way. This was, like, the, the dangerous way. Oh, I'm losing turns because of pain shock. I died. I literally died on the first mission. That's fine. That happens a lot. Um, So when you die, like, your character gets reset to level 1. Uh, all your class stats reset to level one and all your stuff is gone. So the weapons that I had, the armor that I had, that stuff is just gone. Um, it's it's literally just gone. Um, so the yeah, clones will often die on missions, but there's nothing to be done about it. But on the other hand, any clone can be reprinted at a bioprinter, bioprinter. Plus we have insurance for such cases, which partially compensates for the lost equipment. To do this, find the emergency case in the Magnum's inventory, right click on it and select dismantle. <clears throat> um, so that is this right here. So I can dis disassemble it. And this is the little basic kit I was talking about. You get some food, a little bit of food, a little bit of meds, and some ammo and guns or whatever. Um, so you're not you're not left, you know, completely stranded. So we did die. We did fail our first mission. So we got to go back in if we want to get it done. Maybe this time we go in and we don't. Uh, um, oh, and I have to reselect Percy because he died. Maybe this time we don't. Um, we don't go for the, the the difficult exit. We go through the the stairs like they wanted us to. I wanted to try the hard path, but I think we should take the easy path. So I'll put this stuff on, um, 10 to 20, 12 to 26, I'll take that gun then. What ammo is this? Let me just unload. Okay, it's 9 mil. I'll take this ammo, and I'll take the meds they give us. Um, we'll probably need more food than this, but yeah, we'll just take this food for now. Okay. Anything else I want to take? I'll take one blood bag. This is a, it heals you turn or return. Just a little bit of regen. It's solid. And we don't have attack vest on, so I, don't, I only have one slot down here as opposed to two. Or up to five, it looks like. All right, so let's start this mission. And again, this time we're gonna, we're gonna take the uh, the safe path out. 
we're not going to go psycho mode on this one. Um, so this is just the same lore as last time. So we know the elevator's over there. We're not going to go over there. Some room nearby is the elevator. Yep, we're going to avoid that. Hmm. How do I avoid that? That's the elevator. Can I get around it? I thought I searched everywhere before. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What I could do is I know there are rooms down here. Um, I can see them, like this is a room and this is a room. And if I use my mini-map, I can tell, like there's the little walls there. I could just shoot a hole through this wall and um, and just walk down there. You can see the wall took a little damage, like it looks different than the walls around it now. So we're getting through it, there we go, we broke it. There are people down here, that's a little scary, but whatever, it's fine. Reload. This guy is just a, a fighter, and when we kill him, we can take some of his gear and his gun. I think my, my chest armor is better than what he has, but, uh, you know, the rest of his stuff we can take. And I'm standing behind the cover, so I'm being protected. He's also behind cover, so he's pretty protected. Is he going to bleed out? Health for action, self-healing, health for action, negative three. Okay, yeah, so he's he's going to bleed out, like, pretty quickly. He's taking four damage, so I'll just shoot him once more, or four damage per action. Um, and I'm going to start shooting this guy. And he's stunned, so he might die while he's stunned. You, you do, like, take a turn while you're stunned, so... Nah, uh, he's not, not quite dead. He'll die soon enough, though. How close to death are you? You're not taking damage? Why are you still at seven? Okay, I shot him. He's dead now. I don't know why he wasn't taking damage there. I feel like he should have. Okay, this guy has 68 health left. Okay, that's a lot. This 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 is helping me quite a lot. This, this cover was doing a lot for me. It's breaking, but it, it saved me. It helped quite a lot. It's still there. It's not broken yet. And this guy's probably pretty suffering. Yeah, down to 46. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, his stomach is really messed up. He's taking a lot of damage, so that's great. We had to reload, Pog. Okay, okay, that's good. We might even kill him before he shoots again. Yeah, with the, with the pain shock. I don't know if you can see what their pain is, but that stun is probably from pain shock. Um, yeah, so he, he might die before he does anything there. Almost certainly. Oh, I did hear that though. I'm a little worried about that noise. That that it was like a kind of like a slithering noise. It was a door opening or shutting. I was kind of worried that this opened and someone was behind me, but it seems not. Is it 13 HP? Six HP. One more, one more volley. Oh, you're still not dead? One HP, he'll die. He'll die. Yeah, he's bled out. Okay, so people behind us did not hear. I was a little worried they they heard it and were gonna attack me. Oh, it was a door down here, I think. They're coming from down here. Alright. That do anything and shot him some. I'm gonna go ahead and reload, even though our mag wasn't empty, because I had to walk back here anyways. And how much ammo do I have left? None? None bullets left? Okay, that's really bad. Hmm. I don't think I can kill this guy with 12 shots. Oh, he has a sniper rifle, too. A knock, a knock, a knock jeer? I don't know. I can't say that properly. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, he seems really spooky, dude. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. How are you supposed to do this mission? I mean, I could just bring more stuff with me, but I thought there was like an easy path. and I thought I was taking it. Weapons damaged. Okay, that sucks. I have to go to this guy and take his stuff. Um, and he didn't even have that much stuff on him. I was hoping I could, I could get more ammo off of his body. So this guy walked up in front of this guy, so that's kind of annoying, but yeah. These, these shots, they have a piercing chance. They're, they're heavy ammo, so they have a pierce chance on them. Where is it? Damage, crit range, ammo. I don't know, is it, is, is it the ammo that has the chance? Yeah, I think it's the ammo itself that has piercing chance, so I can't show it off because it's... Oh, no, I can show it here. Yeah, yeah, Pierce chance, 60%. So I have a 60% chance to shoot through this guy and hit this guy, too. So even though they stacked up, that was actually good for me. And we killed them both. Let's go, dude. That guy's gun was really good. So I'll take, I'll take the armor like I was talking about earlier. Take the stuff that's better. Okay, this is better for Pierce, but it's worse versus everything else, so I'm just gonna take it. And we'll take this armor and maybe, you know, bring it back with us and use it for armor. Just just for, you know, our own sake. Ah, this is a turret that is very scary. Oh, it has ammo now. I think they used to fire forever. It looks like it might run out. Um, so a turret is kind of terrifying. But, you know, it just is what it is. Doom music kicks in when Quist enters the room. How you doing, Walls? Welcome on in, man. How are you doing today? 
I, I sure hope the Doom music kicks in. I don't know, though. Um, so I'm gonna unload the ammo here. Ooh, what are these boots? They're kind of bougie. Oh, yeah, this is the People's Front stuff. I should absolutely wear this. Um, People's Front is, like, pretty solid. An impactor gear. This this is decent gear. It used to be decent gear, at least. Um, for fire res, specifically. So I like it. And we'll wear that instead of that. And then, um... I can take this off and put this on. And we can we can load the ammo up in it. And I'll unload this. I need the ammo from that, too. Hold up, go there. Okay, so let me reload here. We, we don't have, like, as much ammo as I would like, but it just kind of is what it is. And I, I'm like, I don't know what's up with this. The minor wound self-healing. But I'm like, am I going to, like, bleed out? I'm, I don't know. No good powers back on? Let's go, dude. Let me give you a shout-out, man. That's always good to hear. And again, sorry about the audio. I don't know why it cuts out when I alt-tab. I'm on windowed full screen. It shouldn't cut out like that. But this is Walsh, y'all. If you don't know him, please check him out. He's a good friend of the channel. Makes a lot of great content. Um, streams, like, all the time. Very consistent with his streaming. Um, and he's, he's just a good guy. Friend of the channel. Makes good stuff. You, sh you should check him out. I'm sure you would love his content. Genuinely. Um, and I'll put this here. I, this has a better pierce, and I think that that turret does pierce damage. So I'm not going to put this chest on. Even though it's better in a lot of ways. I think it's worse specifically for the fight we're going up against. So we'll step forward. And this turret can see me if I step forward. So I'm a, I'm a little scared. But, you know, what are you going to do? Auto, rapid fire. Okay, so this is better than this. All right, so. Or it's, a, it's more shots, at least. Shout out. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go. I'm angry. I'm the angry man. Oh, I, I'm the angry man with the radiation suit. Indeed, indeed. Uh, but yeah, dude, of course, for the shout out. Man. Anytime. And it shot me. We did some damage to it when we shot it. You know, we did, did a fair bit. It's at 52 HP. It's just my, the issue is it's like all my ammo. What's it, what's it down to? 35? We, I think we'll kill it. I'm out of ammo. It's not dead. No. Um, I can walk up. Oh, that's not ammo. I was going to say I can walk up and get that ammo, but that's not ammo at all. Uh, shoulder deep wound, minor wound. I'll bandage that. I think that's the right one. I don't know. I'll use the antibiotics on that. Okay, yeah, my armor is broken. This is broken, and my armor is broken. Let me unload the ammo from it. I thought, I thought there was another gun somewhere. I thought there was another one of these. Yeah, there we go. So I'll use this because it's not broken. I'll load the, the gun. <laughs> I'll put the three shots we have in it. And how much ammo do, or how much health do you have? Six health? Rapid fire? Burst? I'll go burst because it's it's slightly more accurate and I'm, I'm desperate. Every every shot matters quite a lot. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's dead. It died. Um, I don't have more health for this or more meds, so I think I just got to live with it. I don't know what a transformer does, so I'm going to take it. It's new. It, it must be cool. This guy. Let's go ammo. Ooh, a big rig. This rig is si it has three sides, and it's, it provides armor. Like, it gives extra stats. And you can see my armor down here. So that's actually really useful. That's, that's very, very good. And the ammo, I'm happy to take. Okay, so I'm going to go to this gun and reload it. Take the sniper. Oh, yeah, where did that go? Oh, it's right here. I forgot the corpses stack like that. My bad. Um, yeah, what ammo does this use? Uses this ammo? Ooh. Wait, hold up. Um, and I'll swap these out because this one's broken. I'll put it over here, though. I do want to keep it. Oh, yeah, not bad, dude. That's really good. Good call. Good call to you. Thank you for that. I, I forgot how the bodies stack on the floor like that. Um, I literally was like, I don't know where it went, so sure. And I think I'll leave this stuff behind and get more more of the, the people's front gear. Um, this stuff is pretty solid. I, I don't think I'll be able to find much more of this people's front stuff for a while, so working boots are not bad either. Uh, so I'm going to try to get out with as much of this stuff as possible. Okay, I, th I thought maybe the turret would have something for me, but nah. Why can't I go down this thing? Oh, okay, there we go. All right. Um, so hopefully this is fine. Like, I, I... Like, hopefully this isn't, like, death. Sir, I need my DACA. Sniper's got some DACA. Find the air at the SD... Oh, and I should put stuff down here so we can have more room for stuff. Find the SD control center. It's full of civil res fighters, civil resistance fighters, bio scanner. Picked up heavy weaponry from the warehouse. You shouldn't have many problems. Once you find their PCO con uh, control feeder, destroy whatever's at hand. From the warehouse. Rapid gunfire on the corridors, followed by ma ma maniacal laughter. Indeed. 
I already hate the limited inventory. It's, it's, it's a pain. It's intentionally a pain, but it's a pain. So I, from the warehouse? What's up with that? Like, let me go back up to the top. a turret over there, but it's not going to shoot me, I think. I don't want to fight more people, but... I, oh, jeez, man. I want to I wanna find this warehouse. Oh, there's a dude there. I want to find this warehouse that she is referring to. And my sniper should be doing decent damage. Yeah, that was not bad. Okay, okay. Ooh, 15 rounds of that? Not bad, dude. Okay, yeah, we have a full stack, and I forgot I wanted to put stuff down here. I'll put this down here. And I can go and load this up. And we had the, the bonus damage from getting shot. And I should disassemble this. Maybe it's got a weapon part for me. Yeah, weapon part. There we go. So I can repair this weapon because it, it's a little broken. Whoa! I didn't know there was a guy here. He, he walked in behind me. I didn't see him. So he's, he's just got some basic stuff. He was a little trainee. Thankfully, he wasn't very scary. Um, oh, God, dude. We're all messed up. I need to, I need to take this guy's clothing and, and, or clothing and tear it apart for meds. Um, like for cloth. It's not great, but it's something. Stabilize wound. Stabilize wound. Okay, let's go, let's go. Eat! Oh, you yeah, we should also eat. All right, can I eat right now? I might be too messed up to eat. No, it looks like we can eat, so yeah, I'll eat some food. This will allow us to heal, and it'll also get rid of that the inventory space stuff. Um, It'll allow us to heal turn over turn. I don't actually think we healed or ate enough for that, though. I think, um, I think, we, are we, yeah, oh, we're regening? Okay, yeah, so we, we did heal enough for that. I thought we might need a little bit more food, but we had enough, it seems. Um, a lamp? All right, that's fine. And some some guy opened the door. Again, he's just a little noob. He should he should be fine. I'll hit him with or is this burst? No, it's rapid fire. We hit him with one shot there. One little one little you know two shots. So I think we're we're like I think we're fine. I don't think we're taking like serious damage from that, but I'm not sure. These can these vats contain acid. They're they're annoying. And this is a, a crafting bench that you can use in in raid. Ooh. Titan's shell. This is new armor. This used to not exist. That's cool. Hey, Kung Fu. How are you doing? Quasimorph Fog. Indeed, indeed. We're playing a little Quasimorph. Um, but yeah, so if, if I wanted to, I could, you know, if I had the supplies, you know, in the mission, I could craft some stuff out of them. And it's pretty valuable. Crafting stuff in mission is, is solid. Um, arm fracture. Okay, it's fractured, so I can do that. Can't really fix that, but whatever. Where's this warehouse full of stuff, man? What is what is what is the game talking about with that? I need to get out of here. I'm going to um I'm I'm gonna become very infected. Oh I'm I'm bleeding out. I didn't realize I didn't know I was taking damage. I thought I fixed that. Eat. Use. It's it's what I have, so I gotta use it. Oh, this is stopping infection or regeneration. I'm just dead. I'm literally just dead. There's there's no way out here. Okay. Alright, we died again. I don't know how to do this mission, man. I genuinely think, like, this mission is harder than, like, a normal mission. A normal mission I could get done, I feel like. Um, I'm not bringing in that many meds as well. That's part of the problem. But I'm like, what the heck is up with this? Do we get another another kit? No? Okay, you only get a kit, I think. Oh, no, I got a kit. You only get a kit if you don't have one. That's what it is. If you, if you, um, if you have a kit, you don't get another one. So, I'll, I'll take it. And um, let's run it back. I think I think we'll be able to win this time. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to win this time at least. I'm stunned we're dying to the tutorial mission thing. I'm I'm missing something obviously. And these sorbents, these are just good meds. I'll take no, not take all of them, but I'll divide and take like some of them. That's fine. And then we'll put all this stuff on. We'll take this and this. Um, you know what? I'll actually take this ammo and not a gun for it. This time will be different. I genuinely think it will be though. I, I actually believe that, like, in truth. I'm going to take a knife for the offhand, just in case. I can I can drop the knife happily, so we'll take it just in case I need it. Okay, um, let's take a little more food than that, just because, just, again, I want to be sure. Okay, we have no top on. Put that on. All right, no, no tack rig. That's fine. All right, uh, no, wait, what? Okay, this stuff should still be there. Yeah, okay, I just, I just misclicked. Okay. So I don't know where this warehouse thing is. I got to figure that out. I, I just, I, I don't really know. Maybe it's through this room? Like the, uh... Wait, does this look different? Wait, this is, like, slightly different. I thought it was the same, um... Like, like, room every time. 
Okay, they are chasing after me. Okay. Spilling a bunch of fuel here. Okay, hopefully... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they, they'll chase me through the fire or whatever, but that's okay. What is this? Pierce wound? Okay. I think I have to bandage that already, whatever. That should stop it? Okay, yeah, it's done. Um, so this guy should be, like, bleeding out? Or he's, like, burning? A little bit at least? I don't know. He's taking some damage from the burns. Not as much as I would like because of his armor, but some. Contusion, stomach burn, knee fracture. Yeah, we're getting there. I clicked on the ship, not on him. It's my bad. And I, I probably should have brought more meds. I, I'm, I'm realizing now we're out of meds again already. That's not good. How is this guy still alive, dude? Again, I like this. This is a tough enemy. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Normally, you wouldn't fight these guys this early. My stuff is all messed up. That's okay. We'll swap. We'll swap. We'll swap gear. I can't even disassemble it while it's broken. I guess. Okay. And we got another weapon, at least, you know? We got the sniper and stuff, so I'll put the knife down for now. Um, so we have this, and we brought ammo for it, so I can switch over to this pretty happily. It's a better weapon, in my opinion. So I, I do need to, like, stop this, but... I'm like, I don't know, deep wound? I don't think that does anything for that. I'll do this, too. I'll use one of these. Didn't, didn't do anything either? Okay, I don't know, man. We might just die here. I hope these go away, but I don't think they're going to. Oh, stairs! This is what I've been looking for, dude. Okay, let's go. I was like, where are these stairs at? Do they exist? They do exist. The stairs are real. I promise, the stairs are real. Okay, antibiotic. That's cool. It's not what I need right now, but it's something. Again, we're bleeding out, but maybe there'll be meds somewhere. That's a repair kit. Ah, I didn't know this guy was here. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. So this is to, like, repair armor or something. I don't need to repair right now, so I'll just take the kit. Um, oh, a shotgun. I love shotguns in this game. Um, on the last patch I played, they got nerfed because they were, like, OP. Very OP. But last time I played, they were still totally fine. I'm a big, big fan of shotguns. I'm going to eat that so I can take the ammo for it. Um, oh, that's his skin. I don't need that. Oh, we'll stack that. There we go. I didn't know I, I already had it. Um, but I want to stack up, like, a lot of shotgun ammo if I can. This helps with pain. Extinguishes fire. Causes us to be a little intoxicated. It's just food. Okay, I'll eat the food, and we'll just put that in our inventory. Oh, attack rig. Not bad. Okay. Man, we're, we're, we're really low on health. That had a, a bone in it. A big bone was the weapon there. You hate to see that. So I, I need I need something. <clears throat> Sorry, again, the throat's, like, dying. I need some meds somewhere, but there's just, like, none. Um, I can, I can take this. I can use one of those again. That's, I don't think that helps me at all. I'm looking for an auto dock, but I'm not finding one. If there's meds in here, I can live. No meds in here? No, we're dead again. Man, we're really struggling with this mission. Like, I I, I think I'm just not going to do this revenge mission. Like, I genuinely think this is much tougher than a normal mission. You, I won't fight coal nodes and stuff normally. I'm just going to leave and do something else. We're on Mars, right? So I, I could go here to here here. Oh, no, we're on Phobos. Okay, and it tells you how long it takes to get there. Um, so there's no other missions on, on Phobos. So let's go to Mars and see what they have. A defense mission? Those are kind of tough without turrets. Oh, it shows difficulty. There's like a difficulty skull. This doesn't have one. There used to not be difficulty, like the, the skulls down there. That's cool. So I think it's two out of five. I think the lit up skulls are the difficult ones. I figured it would be from the left going right, not right going left, but that's fine. Um, so, sure, we'll do a defense mission. I might die, but sure. We'll try it. Defense missions are kind of scary. These guys chat while you're going planet to planet. They say little, little things here and there. So let's give this a try. And again, we're, we're dying a lot, but I really have faith that we'll, we'll be able to make it. Um, I, I, I think we'll get it. And, and we're going to use the uh, oh, symbol. Um, oh, and it put all the stuff on me. Pog. That's actually great. Switch that out. Um, I do want more 9 mil because it's a defense mission. Um, I'm going to put that away. I just, you know, we might be shooting a lot. And I am going to use a turret. We have one turret. I'm going to bring it in for this mission. We shouldn't take, like, too much. Like, we shouldn't be under, like, too much threat. Um, we shouldn't need, like, that many meds. But I'll still bring some. I'll bring an extra antibiotic. 
Um, some of these and these. Okay, so hopefully this stops me from dying. And I'll bring the knife just in case. I don't really want it, but sure. I'll just I'll just live with that. Uh, do I want to bring your nades or anything? No, I don't even have. A, oh, you you always have one slot, I guess. But I don't think we want nades for this. I think the turret and my gun should be enough. Okay. Are we? Do we have armor and stuff? Yeah, the stuff they gave me. All right, let's let's try it, chat. Let's try it. I, I think we got it this time, chat. I really think we got this one. I have faith. It's been a long while since we played, so I'm a, I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. Um, I don't know why it's dark in the corner. What? Sometimes the corner of these defense missions are dark like that. I don't really know what's up with that. And normally I would put the um, oh, and the way these turn these these work by the way, you have to kill everyone, or you have to survive 62 turns, and then you just have to kill everyone that's left on the map after the amount of turns. And it was only 62. It used to be 150. It seems they've made the, the defense missions much shorter. Um, they were kind of tedious before, so I'm, I'm really okay with that. But I would initially... Jesus, this guy's a... He's a scientist. He has an energy weapon. But initially, we would just put down the turret, like, right away. And then we would, um... We would just hide behind it. But because the turrets seem to have actual ammo now, I want to wait a little bit before I put the turret down. I'm going to try to move down to hide from that guy. I worked a little. Caused him to move forward. Are you still alive? Please. This one for sure, Copium. Yeah, for real. But I think I think for real. I think it's actually this one for sure, chat. Self-healing scratch? Okay, if it's self-healing, I won't worry about it. Do you have a, a crowbar in your hand? You do. Shout out to Half-Life. And this person had a little... Uh, it's a pistol, but it's also a shotgun. It's cool. It's a good little gun. I don't know why I took the ammo out of it. I'm going to use the gun. Uh, whoa, pointsman pants. Way better than what I have, sure. Thought they were just pants. Ooh, legend boots. These were like good back in the day. These were like higher tier armor. That's not bad. They've added more armors and stuff though, so maybe they're just like a little lower tier than they used to be. Maybe they're relatively easier to get now. And the impactor helmet, I'll wear it. Again, it's better than a ball of clava. I heard steps, but I couldn't see them. Oh, down there. I couldn't see them. This guy has attack rig. Mm, I don't want to eat that because it gets me drunk. I want to take that though. And he has the industrial nail gun. This gun used to be the bane of my existence. Well, not the worst gun in the game. But this gun was really annoying because it would, like, cause, like, a lot of bleeds. They hit you with, like, eight nails at a time. So you would get, like, a bunch of different wounds. So I'm hoping to kill him before he shoots back. I'm actually just going to hide, I think. I'm going to let him bleed out. He'll probably bleed out. Yeah, you can see the blood appearing, like, here and here or whatever. But he's not walking up anymore. He's probably dead. But that was his blood trail. I, he, nope, he just stopped bleeding. Either either he stopped bleeding or it's a new guy. Ooh, a helper. It's a, it's a backpack that gives you another arm. Weight modifier, negative 50%. Reload duration, negative 1 AP. What is that all about? That's cool. That's new stuff. I've not seen that before. So I guess different backpacks give you different, like, weights? Like, your, your, um, your, your weight gets lower based on the backpack? Yeah, weight modifier, negative 40%. And I didn't mention this, but the heavier you are, the more calories you burn per turn. Per action, that is. Um, so if you have really heavy armor and a big backpack full of stuff, you're burning through a lot, a lot of calories. You need a lot of food. Um, but I don't know. It's, it seems they've they've made that a little better with the backpacks. Um, we're, 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 like, dying a lot, and I haven't, like, really experienced much of the game. Um, but from what I have experienced, I'm really happy with the changes they've made. Oh, this gun used to be scary, too, the Hunter. It's a really high damage weapon. It only has two shots in the gun, so it's like, it's, you know, you have to reload constantly, but if you make those shots count, like that, you know, he did shoot me with it, it can it can be pretty potent. Um, how, how wounded is he? Is he gonna bleed out? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's under a lot of trouble there, so I'm just gonna hide from him, go up to this guy, which is annoying or whatever, but I'd rather be in range of this guy than that guy, I think. And I am, I am taking a lot of wounds, yeah, we need to fix those. I don't, I don't want to fix them all while this guy's just shooting at me, so... Um, now we have to reload. That's kind of annoying. I ran away while I was reloading so that th this enemy would have to chase me. Is my backpack broken or something? Yeah, I'm dropping stuff out of my backpack. Dang it. That's really bad. Also, what gun do you have? The Hunter? Are you the same guy? No, you're a different guy with a Hunter. Um, I need to use some medicine, I think. Minor wound self-healing. If I deep wound... I just wish I knew it, like a deep wound. I wish I knew if that was a bandage or a splint, but. Mm. Good thanks, trying to conquer Caldera and Mountain Boy Banner Lord. 
Oh yeah, I love that game. I've never played Bannerlord. People have, have uh, recommended it to me quite a lot, but I've never actually played it myself. Oh, the, the shotgun ammo's right here on the floor. Ah. I th it fell out of my backpack. Also, what is he shooting me with? Oh, that's that thing. It just makes a weird noise. Um, burst or a rapid fire shot of three? I'll go rapid fire. How healthy are you? Okay, you'll, you'll probably die from one set of those. Are you like almost dead at least? Nine health? Okay, we'll go burst. And how many turns are left, man? 12 more turns? All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. So let me tear this apart and repair this. Need, oh Jesus, dude, that scared me so much. Um, it just needs to be repaired enough to, to walk away with, um, like to hold stuff. So it's it's good now. It's fine. Um, that dude, those shots scared the life out of me. So I took that to, to fix my my uh, whatever. Um, my 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 what is it called? My um my my uh, infection. Sorry, brains brains molten lava right now. There's there's too much going on. Um, this thing instead of this thing. Ah, whatever. It went to the floor. I didn't mean for it to. I'll take this, and I'll eat this. Does this take a turn to eat this stuff? It looks like no. It looks like I, I I can do as much as I want in here without losing a turn. And I'll switch these out, because mine's about to break. And then that pistol its on the floor. Yeah, I want the pistol back. Put this away. Put this down here. I didn't mean to put it on the floor. I just misclicked. Oh, and I can even put it here. Um, I forgot I, this backpack gives me a third weapon slot. So we have this now. It's filled with nails. Um, It's not a great gun, but it, it's something. You know, it's what we got. Oh, and actually, we're getting the bonus damage right now. This is great. We might be able to, yeah, put in some work with that bonus damage. Okay, I might switch to rapid fire from auto, just so I have um less. Oh, and that that's the mission done. Let's go. You can tell when the mission's done, because this starts glowing. Um, But I switched to auto to try to save some nails. So I'll pick up the nails off this guy so we can reload him. And the mission is done now, so all I have to do is leave. But I want to go through and make sure I'm getting all the loot. I want to loot everything up. So we, we did it, dude. We actually did it. And um, rather than this pistol, I'd rather have the shotgun. Um, it's, let me go to the, here we go. The weapon that I have out will be the one it's compared to. Shotgun's better in just about every way than the pistol shotgun. So I'll swap them. Um, it's not a great shotgun. It's still kind of bad, but it's better than the other one. So that, that's that, you know? And we'll unload this. Again, we're taking all the nails just just, just in case we need them for, for future runs. Like we might take a nail gun in. Nail gun's not good, but we might take it in still. And I'll drop that for this other backpack. Again, this backpack's better than a standard backpack, and they're tough to come across right now. Like, I don't have any backpacks, so I'm okay taking that. Anything I really want here? Nothing too special. What about here? Take the nails. What about you? Anything there? Not really? Okay. So we just have to click on this, and or I guess we have to go to the front of it, and then we can leave. Oh, no, I have to hit this, and then I can evac. Um, and now I click it and leave. Okay, there we go. Discount time on Steam. Now's the pog. Yes, yes, yes. Now's the now's the time to pog. I am I am. Oh, you you said it's discount. I thought you were talking about this this the the spring sale or whatever in general. I am looking for some games maybe. How much is it discounted, Kung Fu? Is it like a pretty big discount? Because I wouldn't I wouldn't be too opposed to picking it up. And we never had to use our turret. Um, I was trying to hold off from using it, and we were able to. So we made it out. We um we that's like the, you know that was a, a successful run. We went we went in with like you know sixty shots of this. Um, and we're going out with just 50 shots of it, but we also have ammo in the shotgun now. We have a couple shells. We got this, uh, nail gun and all the nails for it and stuff, so, um, that's, that's a good mission. And then because we beat the mission, they gave me this gun. Um, this is my reward for beating the mission. They just gave me a gun. Um, and it's, you know, 12 by 24. It's a little bit stronger than this shotgun, so it's cool. It's not bad. I'm happy to have it. And how much shotgun ammo do we have? A fair bit. Yeah, I'll bring a shotgun into the next raid. We'll bring this thing in we just earned. And all the armor we have on is the armor we got, so that's good stuff. We have five splints as opposed to the two or three we walked in with. So, you know, yeah. Overall, just everything's, like, solid. That was, that was like, pure upgrade. I'll take in a lot of food for this next one. Um, a five stack of these. That's not even that much food, but it's, you know, we're, we're going to call it a lot for now. Um, and I'll bring in two stacks of ammo. Another antibiotic. And if I had more bandages, I would bring them in. We just don't have more, so it is what it is. This is a, a decent loadout. Um, I'll bring one of these in. This will this will maybe save my life. Just some regen. It's it's ten regen for like for ten turns. Oh, ten ten uh, action points worth of turns. So whatever. Um, if you're sprinting, it's like less turns, I think. And that's not how it used to be. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it used to just be a set amount of turns. So, um, I guess when you when you're when you're using the Sang B, which I call Sang Bzs, um, I guess you want to stealth. Because turns active, 10 AP. You, it's I, I like 
I think on sprint you're getting one third the amount of regen you would get on stealth. So I think you want to stealth during that. So I don't know. And we'll take in this stun grenade. It won't do any damage, but it'll stun some people. And that's that's so it's technically just finished the mission. And there's a new defense mission here. We could go in and do this. And I think it's even less difficulty. So um, we'll probably do that. But chat will do that next time. Thank you for being here, folks. Um, this was Quasimorph. We only played a little bit of it today, but I hope everyone enjoyed it.